This is now our second video looking at summing a finite series using the method of differences. If you didn't see the first video, please do watch that as it's got some of the main learning points in. The take home point was if we had a series u sub r, and that series could be written as the f of r minus the f of r plus 1, when we wanted to come to sum that series from r equals 1 to n of u sub r, we could actually just sum from r equals 1 to n the f of r minus the f of r plus 1. Um, that's a little theory heavy, but hopefully you'll see what it, it, it means as we go on. In this question, it says given that 1 over r multiplied by r plus 1 r plus 2 is identical to 1 over 2 r r plus 1 minus 1 over 2 r plus 1 r plus 2, we need to find the sum from r equals 1 to n of 1 over r r plus 1 r plus 2 using the method of differences. All this is saying is if we want the sum of this right here, if we sum this here manually using the method of differences, we will get the sum of this. And this is what this is saying. So we've written the series u sub r in this form. So if we sum the series from 1, r equals 1 to n of this, we'll get that. So let's start here. Let's start with r equals 1. What we will see is, and these are often called telescoping series, they collapse in the middle. So what we're going to have here, and you might want to write this, I'll write it, I'll write the first couple by the side. What you can have now is the following. You can have 1, and then over 2 lots of 1, and then you can have 1 plus 1. You might want to show this in your working. Um, I think doing this example is quite laborious. So what we're going to have then, 1 plus 1 is going to give me 2. 2 times by 2 is going to give me 4. So when r is equal to 1, what we end up having is 1 over 4. And we subtract away from that. Now, we're going to sub in 1 here. So what we're going to have is 2 over 1 plus 1, and then 1 plus 2. So you can see that this is going to give me 2 times 2 is 4, times by 3. That's going to give me a total now of 12. So we subtract away 1 over 12. In fact, looking at that, you might just want to put it in as the, the number. Um, so, for example, 2 times 1 times 2, 2 times 2 times 3. And you'll see what happens is this pattern is building up. We take r equal to 2. So if we sub in 2 here, what we're going to get is 2 times 3. And then we're going to get this part right here is going to be 3. So 2 times by 2 is going to give me 4 times by 3 is going to give me 1 over 12. And again, you might want to show that in your workings in an exam. If we sub in 2 here, that's going to give me 3, and that's going to give me 4. 2 times 3 times 4, we're going to have 1 over 24. Taking r equal to 3, we're going to get now 2 times 3 is 6, and then 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 times by uh, 2 times by 3 is going to give us, uh, times by 4, sorry, is going to give us 1 over 24. Again, in your workings, you might want to show that as 1 over now 2 times by 3, times by 4, and then on the next one what we'll do is 1 over 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 5. Okay, so this is what we wind up with. So you can see on the next one we're going to get 1 over 40. If we were, of course, to do now the next one, and the next one is going to be r is equal to 4, then what we're going to get in this one, that's going to give me 5, that's going to give me 8, and we're going to have now 1 over 40. Again, you might want to show that here. If we take r equal to 4 on this one, we're going to get 5, and then we're going to get 6. 5 times by 6 times by 2 is going to give me now 1 over 60. As you can see now, the pattern is starting to emerge that these are going to cancel out. When we add this, when we sum this, 1 over 12 minus 1 over 12 is going to go 1 over 24 minus 1 over 24. 1 over 40 minus 1 over 40 is going to go. So what we're now going to do is go down to r is equal to n minus 1. This now is the 1 before the n. This is the penultimate. So if we sub this in now, what we're going to get here is 1 over, and I'll write it to the side here, we're going to get 1 over 2 n minus 1. And then when we put it in here, n minus 1 plus 1 is just going to give us n. So we can write this here as 1 over 2 n n minus 1. When we sub it into this one, what we're going to get now is the following. We're going to get 1 over 2 
n, uh, the n minus 1 going into here is going to give me n, and then the next one is going to be n plus 1. So we can write this now as 1 over 2n, n plus 1. And finally, finishing with r is equal to n, if we sub that in, r is equal to n, what we're going to have is the following. We're going to have 1 over 2n, n plus 1. And then on the final one, we're going to be subtracting away 1 over 2n plus 1, and then n plus 2. Okay? So that's our last one. So when we sub these in, we've got now 1 over 2n and then n plus 1, minus 1 over 2, n plus 1, n plus 2. So all we've done, in the middle, you might want to put dot, 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 dot. Everything in the middle is going to cancel out. Consider, this is going to go with this one. This will go with this one. When you add those two together, they're going to disappear. And remember, we're summing this. I've just left, obviously, the middle out because it's pointless trying to trying to do any more. So you can see now that this one is going to go with the one above it, that one is going to go, and they're going up to the right. So all we're left with now is the following. The sum, and we can write this now, the sum from r equals 1 to n of this right here, which is 1 over r, r plus 1, r plus 2 is going to be equal to 1 quarter minus 1 over 2 n plus 1 n plus 2. All that's left for us to do is tidy this up. So what we can do now is simply if we get a common denominator now our common denominator is going to be 4 n plus 1 n plus 2. So let's write a common denominator of 4 n plus 1 and then n plus 2. So if we look on the top, what we're going to have, we need to multiply all of this side by the n plus 1, n plus 2. So this is going to be n plus 1 and then the n plus 2. And on this side, we need to now subtract away 2. So expanding the top out, we're going to get n squared plus 3n plus 2 minus the 2 all over now and then we're going to have n plus 1, n plus 2 on the bottom. Quite clearly these 2's are cancelling out, so we'll be left with n squared plus 3n, which we can factor to n, n plus 3, all over 4, and then we've got n plus 1 and n plus 2. So that is our final answer. We can say that the sum from r equals 1 to n of 1 over r, r plus 1, r plus 2 is n, n plus 3 over 4, n plus 1, n plus 2, using the method of differences. So in your workings, you don't need this. You might want to show what you're doing each step, but essentially we should build up a table and we should be striking these off. This whole series collapses in the middle. Those go, that one goes with that one, that one goes with that one, and so on and so forth, up until this one is left, the first and the last. Sometimes it's for these two, and these two that are left, or these two and these two. But in this case, we've all we've got to do is add one quarter and negative one over two, n plus one, n plus two, tidy it all up and write our answer.